Um, today I'm going to be talking about eating disorders and suicide. And it's a very hard topic to talk about because a lot of people don't like talking about it. A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people are very insensitive about suicide. Um, they think it's a very selfish act, which in a generalization, it might seem that way. And it, you know, would look that way that it's very, very selfish. But to only understand suicide, you either have to be the one with the suicidal thoughts. And I can understand um, suicide so much because I went through the same experience or um, I've had an experience of suicidal thoughts and suicidal attempts um, whenever I was really uh, deep into the eating disorder. And I just see a fine correlation, you know, with eating disorders and um, people who have eating disorders committing suicide. And, you know, eating disorders do have one of the highest mortality rates of any mental illness. And either that's by death of complications from the eating disorder or from suicide. And that's usually the statistics, is either from um, those two. And I hear a lot about girls and guys and women and men committing suicide because of eating disorders. And it's a lot of what I was going to do. Um, I got to a point where I was just so low and just so hopeless that suicide um, seemed refreshing. It wasn't it wasn't anything that seemed selfish to me. It wasn't negative to me, really. It was something positive, you know. And usually people with suicidal thoughts or who want to commit suicide um, see it as a positive thing, see it as a way out, as an escape. Um, and usually with an eating disorder, they're, the only options they feel they have are live the rest of this live my life the rest of this way with these eating disorder thoughts, with people thinking I'm crazy, with never getting any help, with all these comments from people, with the, the craziness in my head, with never finding the right treatment team, you know, all these, all, live with that or escape it. Those people that are really having the suicidal thoughts, they think that those are the only two options, which... You know, now I know that that's not the only option, that there is good treatment out there and that um, you can get past this. You, you can recover or be in recovery from an eating disorder. But in the moment, people with suicidal thoughts can't see that. It's like a big old wall is put in front of them and it's just they can't see to the other side. And they only see these two options. And they choose the more option that is that gives them freedom they think that suicide is freedom from all the suffering that they that, that, that they're going through and that's what i thought i mean i would dream about suicide i would think about it daily 24 7 all the time just thinking of different ways to commit suicide and i wasn't even thinking about you know, like some of some people that have never thought about suicide wouldn't even thinking about the sides that they think about. Like, don't you think that's selfish that you would be um, hurting your whole family? You know, that never went through my mind. And I don't think that that really ever goes through people um, that are really seriously thinking about suicide. I think that it's just they're thinking all about how they are hurting people so that they want to end their life so that those people will just be set free of them. They think that they are the problem, but that's not the truth. You know, we're not the problem. The mental illness is the problem. You know, not us personally. We're not a problem, but that's what they see. And um, 
you just get so so low um it's worse than depression it really is it's an extreme low um to want to end your life i mean it has to be an extreme low you know and you can't be in your right mind of course with an eating disorder you already have a mental illness and then with depression and the suicidal thoughts the mental illness is just increased so much and you begin to sort of go crazy I think and your mind is just bombarded with so much hate toward yourself and that the world would be better off without you and all these lies um, start to fill your head and of course I can differentiate where the lies come from um, they come from evil they come from Satan you know um, he wants your life and he wants to have your life and he hates your life and he knows God created your life and that's what he wants he wants you to uh, commit the ultimate act of self-harm he wants you to destroy the body that God gave you he wants to destroy the temple of the Holy Spirit of course and you just I don't know it, it's really difficult to go back to where I was to think that you know I wanted to end my life I mean if I ended my life I wouldn't be here right now I mean <laughs> I can't imagine I mean I had it set straight in my head the exact date October 31st 2005 that I was going to kill myself and looking back on it now it's just a miracle that I never went through with it it was really God um, I don't know it's so it's so strange to think think that way and I'm sure there's people um, watching now who know someone that has committed suicide and I want you to know that it's not your fault if they went through with it um, there's nothing that we can really do we can't play the if game if I was just there for them more if I just loved them more if I just paid attention to them more these people have mental illnesses sometimes we can't break the barrier for some people we can't be responsible for someone else's life like that I mean sure we do have a responsibility to the people but when it comes down to it it is their ultimate choice and yeah they might not be in their right mind they might be controlled by the eating disorder and these suicidal thoughts but it is not your fault if you know someone and you feel like you could have prevented it you know they're so they're such in a low place that even the right words can't fix somebody because and usually people with a suicide tend to hide hide what they're thinking they don't express it and usually people with suicide will be going through something difficult and then they'll plan out their suicide and then they'll get really really happy because they know that it's it's gonna end they they know that they're gonna be free you know and uh, or they might just be even getting lower you just gotta watch out for the warning signs but even then you can't prevent that something like that you can't be around somebody 24 7 you know and I don't know that these are just my thoughts because I've been through the same thing and it's 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 a scary thing it's a terrible thing to even think these things and if you're thinking these things please consider talking to someone and getting some help because these are serious thoughts these thoughts do grow they don't just say oh you know it would be kind of good if you're out of this world and then it just stops it it progressively grows every day these thoughts do especially if you're going some, through something like an eating disorder you need to be precautious and you need to get help and you need to talk to people the answer is not losing your life for an eating disorder so just find some help and don't be scared to find the help it's it's totally worth it you don't really want to lose your life I know I didn't in the back of my mind there was a part of me still wanting to hold on 
to find some hope, and there is hope. She's got to find that for herself.